Hey guys, today we're going to cover our vocabulary for an invisible thread. So let's begin. So remember for your vocabulary, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the word. If you automatically know the word and its definition and can use it in a sentence, you place a plus sign in the box. If you cannot do those things, you place a minus sign in the box. Next, I'll read the sentence from the story to you. You are going to use your context clues to create a definition for the word. After that, we will go ahead and remember use the words before and after because it is going to be or possibly be a multiple meaning word like bat, which can be a nocturnal mammal, a heavy super club or cudgel, to strike or to hit, anything along those lines. So once we're done with that, we're moving on to our next thing. And that's going to be, I'm going to actually show you the definition and part of speech. You must write them both down. So you'll write down adjective and then the word or noun or verb or whatever the part of speech is. Once we're done with that, I'll give you a sentence starter, and then that sentence starter, you will copy the sentence starter and then finish the sentence so that it makes sense. Let's look. You will need these two activities for today. The first one is going to be your invisible thread vocabulary chart. We only have three words for this one, so this one's going to be pretty short. Short. And then you're going to need your invisible thread at vocabulary activity with your three words again. So let's continue. And let's see what we got. Our first word is resilience. Do you know what resilience means? Plus sign if you do, minus sign if you do not. He taught me about resilience, courage, perseverance. What do you think resilience means? He taught me about resilience, courage, perseverance. Resilience is a noun, and it's the ability to recover quickly. And so here I have a picture of resilience, someone not giving up, or someone um, pushing this ball all the way up the mountain, recovering, make, oops, sorry, um, making sure that they are resilient. All right, here's our story, our sentence. The community had great resilience after. How would you finish this sentence? The community had great resilience after. What would cause a community to have great resilience? Maybe a natural disaster, a pandemic, any of those things that we have recently went through in our state could possibly go in there. So the community had great resilience after the hurricane destroyed the town. All right, our next word is perseverance. Perseverance. Do you know what this word means? Plus sign if you do, minus sign if you do not. He taught me about resilience, courage, and perseverance. Again, here's another word, same sentence. He taught me about resilience, courage, and perseverance. So do you know what the word means? Let's look. We have a noun, continued patient effort. So continued patient effort. Here you can see I have that this person is going to persevere. He is going to get out of that wheelchair and use his crutches to get up those steps. So he's had continued patient effort in order to walk up the steps. So noun, continued patient effort. Here's our sentence starter. She has so much perseverance that what would someone with a lot of perseverance achieve or be able to do? She had so much perseverance that. Our third and final word is generosity. Do you know what generosity means? Plus sign if you do and minus sign if you do not. Generosity. His generosity of spirit continues. So his generosity of spirit continues. In this sentence, his generosity of spirit continues. What could, would you think the word generosity means? So let's look, it's a noun. Willingness to give or share. So in this instance, the word generosity is a willingness to give or share. And you can notice I have the picture of the person giving someone money or a willingness to give or help another person out. So the willingness to give or share. And for generosity, I have, I had never seen so much generosity until. So think about a time in your life when you've seen or when you think you would see a lot of generosity. I had never seen so much generosity until. I know in my personal experience, I had never seen so much generosity until the flood of 2016. So finish your sentences, make sure you have all of this completed, and then you can move on to your vocabulary activity. I hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions.